A musical trio led a group of bee enthusiasts down a path in an urban farm on Governor's Island, an island in the New York Bay, just south of Manhattan. They performed a waggle dance, which mimics the movements honeybees make when communicating with each other. It's part of a day-long event supported by Con Edison, the utility in New York City and Westchester County, aimed to protect bees and their habitat through education, advocacy, research, and food justice programs. It's important that the Bee Conservancy is around these days because bees are in crisis. Many ecosystems depend upon their survival. There are 20,000 species of bees on this planet, and bees not only pollinate one in three bites of food that we eat, but also 80% of the world's flowering plants. We rely on those bees for so much of our food and for our environmental resilience. They pollinate about 50% of our wildflowers, which is completely dependent on bee population. So we're excited to be sponsored by uh, organizations like Zarbies, which realize that it's important to connect with consumers that are more and more interested in what companies are doing to support their communities and the environment. A day-long list of family activities, including live hive inspections, we have seed bomb making stations, farm tours, arts and crafts, face painting, it goes on and on and on. We're actually opening up one of our honeybee hives, showing frames of activity to the audience that's here. By showing people the process of how honeybees make honey, um, we hope to kind of connect the dots between something that's sort of abstract and how it impacts people on a daily basis, whether it's through the honey that they eat every day or the plants in their yard that have been pollinated. That's why Con Edison is proud to sponsor this year's Pollinator Power Party. So it's really important right now for us to do everything we can as a community to make sure our bees are safe and thriving.